After a one-day weather delay, SpaceX is scheduled to launch four astronauts to the International Space Station tomorrow morning. Here is a live look at Launch Pad 39A at the Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The mission is, get, is set to make history. Mark Strassman is near the launch pad to tell us why. Mark, good morning. Good morning, Anthony. Let me show you something that's never been seen before on a rocket that's about to launch astronauts. Take a look at the bottom of the rocket, that black stuff covering the first stage. That is soot, which means that this rocket has flown before. And that's not all. So has the capsule that the four astronauts will be riding inside. It's the first time that both will be reused to fly people. Another milestone for a company that's already revolutionizing space travel. Here's the splashdown. There once was a time when splashdown meant a museum for a crude space capsule. Not anymore. Welcome back to planet Earth and thanks for flying SpaceX. This dragon capsule, charred like a marshmallow, flew SpaceX's first crew last summer. Now, with a new heat shield and parachutes, SpaceX is set to fly people in it again. Its next passengers, this international crew of veteran astronauts, including two Americans. <laughs> SpaceX will also reuse the first stage booster of this rocket from its last crewed flight in November. By landing and reflying its boosters, SpaceX has driven down the cost of launching satellites and cargo. But flying people on used hardware required NASA's OK. And so we went through a pretty exhaustive process with SpaceX to look at what we needed to refurbish on those systems and go on through engineering review to make sure they're safe to fly. At least it did the job that it was designed for once and everything worked fine the first time around. Tomorrow's crew is confident the hardware will work just as well the second time around. I think you have to be an optimist if you're going to be a national. If you think at everything that could go wrong, uh, it's a rather long list and you're not going to sleep much at night. Release. This was NASA astronaut Megan MacArthur working on the Hubble telescope back in 2009. Her confidence returning to space tomorrow in a used capsule runs deep. I know somebody that I trust completely was, was really involved in, in developing this vehicle. That somebody is fellow astronaut Bob Bankin, her husband. On that very first SpaceX flight last summer, Bankin flew in the same Crew Dragon capsule. In fact, sat in the very same seat that his wife will ride into space. It is funny to me that sometimes I'll start asking questions of the trainers and they'll say, you know, your husband had the same set of questions for us. Is he gonna leave you a note? I'm not sure, although I think, you know, if there's any chewed up gum under the seat, I'll know where it came from. <laughs> The weather forecast is looking good for liftoff tomorrow, set for 5.49 Eastern time, 5.49 in the morning. The crew will dock with the space station, Gail, on Saturday morning. That is very cool. Thank you very much, Mark. We all remember when her husband went up. That's right. I love that they're thinking alike when she says, you know, your husband asked the exact same <laughs> question. I like that. When I, love the, I just love the whole story. They keep talking too. about the used hardware, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there may actually be gum under the seat, yeah. but it still flies. They clearly know what they're doing. We are certainly cheering them on.